Like many of you, we grew tired of our government's disrespect for international law. We let world leaders cynically waste enormous human and financial resources in wars and constant arms race. Governments transfer arms across borders and fuel protracted conflicts, but do not share life-saving medications and technology. We watch as entire generations in conflict regions lose hope for a better future, or even worse, we watch how they die trying to escape the nightmares of their daily lives. Our world is approaching climate catastrophe, with the highest number of refugees since World War II, and their numbers will only increase as a result of the climate change that will trigger new conflicts. We are leaving the young generation in insecurity, exposed to traumatizing images from endless conflicts as they question their future in frustration by the state's inability to deliver solutions to global challenges. After each conflict, we just put thousands of coffins into the ground and uncover new mass graves and the cycle of violence and people suffering just keeps repeating over and over again. We close our eyes to our incompetence to prevent and stop atrocities and wars as we seek to console ourselves with some never again cliche which is too often used to justify our failures. We want to shift the world's attention back to the position of the individual in the matters of international peace by recognizing an enforceable human right to peace. The right can fundamentally modify the obligations related to disarmament and arms trade, environmental protection or maintaining international peace. It can open the doors to many strategic litigations and reinforce the enjoyment of well-established human rights and enforcement of states' obligations. Up until now, the development on the right to peace have not delivered these results with some states, denying the existence of this right, and the global youth has not yet expressed its position on the matter. My name is Rastislav Šutek. I am the founder of the Platform for Peace and Humanity and the convener of the Global Coalition of Youth Ambassadors for the Right to Peace. I do believe in the power of youth to change the world. And that is why we are launching a global advocacy program to recognize the human right to peace. We want the Global Coalition of Youth Ambassadors to be heard in every state, on every continent, in all national, regional and global institutions to codify and progressively develop the human right to peace, so that one day individuals can take their governments to courts of law for threatening or breaching international peace. My name is Nijana Romashkin. I am the project coordinator at the Platform for Peace and Humanity. We believe that to achieve sustainable peace, prosecution of the crime of aggression is a key issue not only by outlawing acts of aggression, but also by effectively prosecuting responsible leaders, we can foster justice and peace around the globe. But that is not enough, as there are far too many threats to international peace. We believe that crimes against peace deserve a far greater position in international criminal law, and their enforcement can contribute to a more peaceful world. The Global Coalition of Youth Ambassadors for the Right to Peace will restart the global discussion on crimes against peace. We call upon young people from all corners of the world to answer our call so that each state is represented with one youth ambassador for the right to peace. If you are a young lawyer, human rights defender, peace or climate change activist or an advocate of change, become the youth ambassador for the right to peace. Together. Our global movement can make this world a better place for the present and future generations.